Is it fair to have business interests be part of public education? Well, I think that's a, it's an odd question. Corporations and people who have a lot of money believe because they have them a lot of money, they got smart. And very often they come in and try to dominate a school district. Why would I want to add charter schools into my portfolio? Well, I think because it's a very stable business. The industry's growing about 12 to 14 percent a year. If you look at their boards of directors, tend to be full of hedge fund managers and investment bankers. Uh, the education market is seen as a tremendous market. This is a school district committed to education reform. No more reform! No more reform! The strategies I thought would work don't work. Merit pay doesn't work. Uh, carrots and sticks don't work. Labeling teachers as ineffective or effective based on test scores has been proven again and again not to work. I was wrong, and I'm embarrassed to have been any part of this movement. This is a manifestation of what I care about is the quality of public services in my gated community. And not a dime of my money is going to go to take care of people where I don't benefit. They're spending their tax dollars. Maybe a parent values a religious education more than they value a higher academic education at their neighborhood school. That's their choice. The political spectrum is driving the schools. The educational spectrum is not. Well, I'm here to remind you and thank you um, for allowing politics to be part of what you do in this district. That's a real problem. Probably the number one problem in the country today. Bunch of corporations get together and get tax write-offs for bankrolling a, a charity called the American Legislative Exchange Council. I was never a conspiracy theorist about public education until, until I started doing my work on Alec. Now there's suddenly one big happy family, the corporations, the lobbyists, the politicians. I value the work of lobbyists. Without lobbyists, where would we get our information? I mean, The Wizard of Oz, and somebody pulled that curtain away, and I'm going, really? You know, if you look at it only as the right wing is doing this, that's interesting. But more importantly, the right wing and the Obama administration are working hand in glove, and that is bizarre. Look at these people, they've, they've all turned out to support their schools. They're walking out of schools and, and that draws national attention. This issue was so important that it needed to be brought to the streets. There is still a huge fight to be waged just to save public education. These corporations have the money. These CEOs have the money. These banks have the money and it's not fair.